everyone. In the previous video, we have about an important criterion for flexible payment analysis and about resilient modulus. Today we are going to see about a software called IIT Pave. IIT Pave is an analysis software for flexible payments. It analyzes the payment with respect to the provided load and pressure conditions and calculates uh, stresses, strains and deflection which is provided as an output for different locations in the various layers. IIT Pave works for various assumptions such as the payment is considered as a linear elastic system. Uh, so what does uh, linear elastic layered system mean? Layered system refers to the different types of layers in the payment such as BC that is the bituminous course, DBM, uh, WMM, GSP and subgrade. And linear elastic means the layer behaves elastic in nature during shorter loading time which occurs in the actual scenario. Thus linear elastic layer system is being considered with uniformly distributed load over a circular contact area. The IAT pave requires various inputs namely number of layers, elastic or resilient moduli, Poisson's ratio, thickness of all the layers, depth of the critical point location, radial distance of the point or element considered, magnitude of wheel load and contact pressure. We will see each of the parameters in detail. First is the number of layers considered. In the current version only 10 layers can be taken as input. If more than 10 layers, the, then different layers of similar layers are properties uh, for example base and sub base which are granular layers can be considered as one single layer where the resilient modulus will also be calculated as for uh, the single layer respectively. If CTB is introduced then it must also be uh, considered as a layer. But if SAMI that is the stress absorbing membrane interlayer is being used then it is not considered as a structural layer. Next input is the resilient modulus uh, which is one of the most important parameter. The calculation of the resilient moduli for various layers has been discussed in the previous video. Please do check out if not seen. Thus resilient modulus of all the layers considered are uh, given as input. Poisson's ratio is generally taken as 0.35 and the maximum value is considered as 0.5. If CTB layers are considered, the Poisson ratio is taken as 0.25 for that particular layer. Next is the thickness of all the layers considered in the payment. If CTB layers is considered, separate thickness must be mentioned. Wheel load is dependent on uh, wheel set, that is whether a single wheel set or dual wheel set is being considered. A single axle with dual wheel, that is the standard axle load of uh, 80 kN means there are two wheels uh, on either sides of the axle. So considering one side of the axle, there are two wheels. If only one single wheel set is being considered, then the wheel load uh, must be provided as 40 kN, which is half of the 80 kN standard load. If dual wheel set is considered, then 20 kN is the wheel load, meaning each of the wheel carries 20 kN. Contact pressure is taken as 0.56 generally for the analysis. This value is taken since the performance models for fatigue and rutting criterion equations were derived with respect to this 0.56 MPa contact pressure assumption. If the tensile stresses and tensile strain need to be calculated in CTB layer, then a contact pressure of 0.8 MPa is given as input for the whole system. Analysis points are the critical points that are considered in the payment for fatigue and rutting criterion about the critical points which has been discussed in the previous video named criteria for analysis of flexible payment. Uh, here the depth is considered from the uh, surface of the payment for each of the critical point considered. The radial distances are measured from the center of the dual wheels. Let's see how 155 mm is considered in the following slide. Here you can see critical points considered at the middle of the dual wheels and at the center of the single wheel in the bottom of the bituminous layer and at the top of the subgrade. The center to center distance between the dual wheels is taken as 310 mm. Half of it that is from the center of the dual wheel to the center of the sing single wheel where the critical point is located will be 155 mm which is taken as the radial distance for that particular point. Thus the various inputs that are provided in the software have been discussed elaborately.
In the next video, we will discuss about what are the values to be considered after analysis is completed and the checks to be done. Thank you.